thank you guys for being here. It's a, it's a wonderful day for us. Uh, Y'all make sure you still eat while I'm talking here. Uh, it's been a, a culmination of almost a, a year of planning to get to this day. Uh, and the students that we signed uh, this morning uh, are looking forward to contributing to us continue to win conference championships and ultimately a national championship. Before we get started uh, with the video, there's a lot of things that go into recruiting and there's several people in here that I would love to recognize and when I do I'd like for you to stand up and just get your recognition. I'm going to start with our, with our coaching staff. If you guys would just stand up, these guys uh, work extremely hard. Coach Corn is our recruiting coordinator. He's the one that puts, puts on everything uh, for us as far as our weekends. He does a fantastic job for us. Coach Wilson, linebackers, Coach Miller uh, does our special teams. Coach Gardine, your offensive line. Coach Tucker, quarterbacks. Coach Peoples, our DBs. Coach Isaac, our running backs. Coach Sky, our defensive line. Coach Staggs, our defensive coordinator. Coach Padilla. Coach Bullitt. Uh, Tanner helps with the defensive line. And Coach Malcolm helps with our, our quarterbacks. Those guys spend tireless amount of time on Twitter, on the road, away from their wives, doing a great job, and I wanted to recognize them. Some other people that helped us get to this day. Sandy Freshman, is Sandy in here? Let's give Sandy a hand right here. She evaluates transcripts for us, and, and we talk a lot during this time frame. She does a great job for us. Ashton Turner, our compliance. Ashton right there. She signs off on everybody for us and does a fantastic job. Uh, Brad Drake and Scott, they make sure you go ahead, guys, right there. They're athletic trainers. They're not only great basketball players at lunch, but they do a great job of uh, evaluating our player prospects when they come on campus. John Davis. John meets with our, our prospects and their parents. Does a fantastic job for us. I don't think uh, Jim Roten, uh, Andrew King, Seth Cavera, and Ken Phipps, they're from admissions. I don't know if any of them in here. Stand up for us right there. Thank you. They have to obviously uh, handle our admissions process and our transcripts and does a fantastic job for us. I also want to mention Terry Cargis, uh, Terry Cargis as well. Anna, where's Anna? Anna, stand up for us right there. Anna handles uh, a lot of our things, getting us ready. Her and Coach Corn and Coach Padilla work extremely well. She does a great job for us getting it ready. We appreciate you. Uh, is Rochelle in here? She's in Charlotte. Okay, we love Rochelle. I just wanted to mention Rochelle. She has to put up with us. So y'all, if y'all see Rochelle to her, we appreciate that. Zeke and the SID department do a fantastic job putting together videos for our weekends and this. I'd like to give them a hand. Uh, any professors uh, that are in here, we have to use every academic department on the weekends. And they do a fantastic job uh, with uh, coming and meeting with our, our young men and spending time with them and explaining what goes on. So if there's a professor in here, please uh, love for you to stand up so we can recognize you. Right there, okay. Thank you. Appreciate that. John Wilson for handling our security, helping us making sure the campus is safe when we bring them. They, they love to know that we're a safe campus. Appreciate you, John. <laughs> Athletic Director, Coach Small for the opportunity. Dr. Hunter for the opportunity. Let's give him a hand. Thank you very much. All right. <clears throat> we've signed this class. I hope if I didn't miss any, if I missed somebody, I apologize. Um, we've signed in this class 18 student athletes. Ten of those are from the state of South Carolina. That's from the upstate all the way down to this area. We put a big emphasis on South Carolina and then moved out. We have two from the state of Georgia, one from North Carolina, uh, one from Texas. Uh, so we, we broaden our horizons. Uh, anytime that you go out, you're trying to find obviously the best player, but more importantly, the best fit for Charleston Southern. And we feel like we brought in the, the, the right type of student athletes, not going to be a success on the field, but more importantly, off of it. Uh, do well academically and fit into our environment here at CSU and it's a special place and you have to have special people that want to be a part of that and all these 18 young men are excited about being Buccaneers and helping us continue uh, moving forward. So with that I'm going to start, I'm going to, I'm going to list who we signed and then we're going to watch this video um, but just tell you a little bit about him. Josh Bell is a defensive back from Fairfield Central. Coach Isaac recruited him uh, and uh, he'll play corner for us. It comes from a great program that competes for state championships. Malik Brown is from West Ashley High School. That'll be a linebacker. Coach Gardini recruited him. Bobby's from West Ashley, so that's why he's cheering. Okay. <clears throat> Omar Calderon is an offensive lineman from Florida. Coach Tuck recruited him. Uh, he's going to be a play tackle for us. Slade Carroll is a running back from Lexington, South Carolina. Coach McGee recruited him. Jack Chambers is a quarterback that we signed out of Georgia. Uh, Coach Gardini recruited him. 
Uh, Evan Cruz is an athlete out of Florida that Coach Tuck recruited. Uh, Jonathan Earl is a linebacker from uh, Columbia, South Carolina. Coach McGee uh, was his recruiter. Uh, Zach Epstein from uh, Christ Church up in the upstate is an offensive lineman. Uh, Coach, Coach Korn recruited him. Uh, got a great story about Zach. Zach's extremely intelligent, wants to be a doctor. Uh, his older brother passed away from cancer when he was 22 years old. So his goal, ultimate goal, was to uh, try to cure cancer. So unbelievable, unbelievable backstory on that. Nick Graves is a defensive back from uh, Lexington, South Carolina. Uh, Coach McGee recruited him as well. Leroy Henry is an offensive lineman from uh, Florida or out of the Orlando area. Coach Tucker recruited him. Matthew Martin is a wide receiver from West Side up in the upstate of South Carolina. And Coach Korn uh, brought him to us. Robert Mitchell is a junior college quarterback that we brought in from Texas from Blinn Junior College. That's the same junior college that uh, Cam Newton came from. He's here on campus already and he'll be uh, competing for uh, the quarterback spot. He's a junior. Ethan Ray's a long snapper from the upstate of South Carolina. Um, Coach Padilla brought him in. Uh, actually, Coach Bullitt recruited Robert. He's their Texas recruiter. Sorry for mentioning, not mentioning there, Coach Bullitt. Um, Nick Sally's from Colleton County right down the road. Coach Gardini recruited him as a linebacker. Uh, Jared Stanley's a defensive back from Georgia, play corner. Uh, Coach uh, McGee recruited him. Jeffrey Wall is a wide receiver that's here already, came mid-year. Uh, he's uh, going through our, our off-season program. Uh, he was recruited by Coach Miller out of North Carolina. Uh, Stephon Williams is a linebacker from down in South Florida. Coach Peoples recruited him. Uh, and then Terrence Wilson's a running back up from uh, the Midlands up in the Columbia area, Batesburg, Leesville, uh, and Coach McGee recruited him. So 18 total signees, 10 from South Carolina. Uh, good, feel really good about um, the class and what they're about. What they're, uh, what they're, uh, y'all right back there? Okay. Uh, uh, what they're going to bring to our table. So without further ado, we're going to introduce them. After we're done, we're going to have an unveiling of a helmet, and then we'll open it up for questions. You can ask as many questions about these guys as you want. We'd love to answer them from there. So if you want to start the video here, we'll get going.
And that is our 2016 signing class. So now we're going to we're going to uh, unveil an alternate helmet. We're not getting rid of our white one. We started here with our gold, and then we've obviously caught up with the times a little bit and gotten a little nicer. And so what we want to do, we've tried to change our uniforms and, and do some different things to uh, continue to sell the brand to Charleston Southern. And so we've uh, you notice with having gray uniforms, obviously we got our white and our blue, and everything looks good. We wanted to go with an alternate helmet that we could wear certain times, certain games. So without further ado, so a little white, got our blue, got our gold right there. So you'll see us uh, wear that in special games, as long as we get that approved, Dr. Hunter. All right, um, right there. <laughs> yeah. uh, but. Always trying to improve and get better, and that's the next step that we'll do right there. So that's a great helmet. So I'd like to thank our equipment manager, Coach Isaac, for doing a great job. <laughs> and putting that together. If there's any questions about it, please ask him. So somebody did forget, Catherine, uh, we appreciate all your help. You obviously I guess the days are running out here, so we appreciate all you've ever done for us, and let's give Catherine a hand right there. So, uh, <clears throat> any questions that we have about uh, the signing class, about anything there that I can answer for you guys? Feel free. Coach, I have one right here. Oh, okay. I have a microphone. I'm giving them to everybody in the room. Okay, great. They all have microphones. <laughs> um, quick question, how many how many players did we lose from last year? And second question, follow-up question is, where do you feel you're most improved from this recruiting class? We've lost uh, a total of uh, 14 uh, players from last year, contributors uh, from last year's team. Uh, what we tried to accomplish with uh, this signing class is we needed to uh, obviously fill some depth at certain positions. You saw we signed three offensive linemen. Uh, so we were trying to fill some uh, depth there, a couple other positions. Uh, and then uh, we need some impact players, hopefully, on the defensive side. We lost some guys in the secondary and linebacker position where we don't have a lot of depth right now, guys that can play. So we're hoping some of those guys can maybe make an Im immediate impact. So you hope they all can play, but uh, we'll see how it goes with our, our current team. Right. Yes, sir? What has been the uh, most exciting part about the recruiting process this year? I think uh, uh, just getting to know different people and the, and the kids and their, and their parents and then bringing them here and, and showing um, just really the great things that we have going here and what the school's about. And if they hadn't you know, been here before, maybe having a while, and it's been the first time back and seeing all the positive changes that were happening, I think just being that and going in and um, being able to sell Charleston Southern and, and what it stands for and what our young men have been able to do here, uh, it's, it's, it's pretty special to walk in and people know, hey, see on TV and see all the things that are happening. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. Question two, thank you. Anybody else? Anybody? Last chance to get me. All right. God bless. Thank you all very much. Yeah.